A million dollar movie is set to begin filming in Windsor, which producers say will bring jobs and economic diversity to the region. Slated to be one of the biggest budgeted films to ever hit Windsor, one Toronto-based producer is excited about the opportunity to showcase the region. Windsor has a lot to offer. There's, I mean, outside of the obvious cost savings, there are places where you can shoot the film that meet the needs of this particular film. So it, it serves the look of the film, it serves the cost, you know, the low cost aspect of the film. But also there are crew here that uh, could be hired locally. Jerry Lapman is the main producer and has been involved with the film since its infancy. He says Windsor was on the radar as a prime filming location since day one. Filming will take roughly 20 days and calls for a high school and large wooded area. Producers are in talks with the Windsor-Essex Catholic District School Board in trying to finalize permits to use the city-owned Ojibwe Park. The movie is scheduled to begin filming in July, but a small portion of the funding remains unfulfilled. The Birder is a feature-length revenge comedy set inside the world of birdwatching. A mild-mannered high school teacher plots revenge with a former student to regain his birding legacy. Jeff Natalin is a Windsor native and co-producer for the project. But I would just only hope that in five years time people can pull a few movies off of the shelf at Walmart or, or at Best Buy or at a, at, a, at a retail outlet and find them on TV and recognize Windsor and say, hey, that was filmed in my hometown. Golden Globe nominee Tom Cavanaugh plays the main character. He played Ranger Smith in the 2010 live action movie Yogi Bear. Over 20 investors, including one retired high school media teacher, are helping fund the flick. Sergio Forte lives in Amherstburg and is making an unprecedented decision by dipping into his personal savings. His wife of 10 years is a drama teacher and he says she supports his risky venture. It's exciting for me. It's exciting to see if uh, this comes to fruition if we can make money, and I think it's great for Windsor. Uh, there's no guarantees that it's going to be successful, but there's no guarantees that it will not. In addition to the lights, cameras, and actors, producers say they hope to hire upwards of 50 people, including dozens of Windsorites. By hiring locally, it will save thousands of dollars in hospitality costs. Once editing is complete, Lapman says the movie will first be submitted to a variety of film festivals across Canada. Natalin says he hopes this film will contribute to the evolution of Windsor's film industry and provide international notoriety for filmmaking in Windsor. You know, we're more than car plants and casinos. I think that's the message that we can give across is that there's a lot more talent here than people think that we have. Reporting for MediaPlex News Now, I'm Jason Vio.